Bonjour, comment allez-vous? Hello, how are you? Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Learn French Children Above. If you have already subscribed to my channel, press the bell icon to get the latest updates. In today's class, we are going to continue with Ontogen 2 Kayet Exercise by Mahita Tanjit, published by New Society House India Private Limited. For now, we are currently doing lesson number 5, Le Media, right? Till now, we have completed comprehension, writing section, and the literature section that is culture de civilization right as of now we have completed first three questions of grammar and in this video we are going to do question number four onwards okay so you can find all my other videos based on ontogen class 10 workbook present in a playlist and the link to that playlist is there in the description box below so let's start discussing the questions we are on if you have the workbook cbsc class 10 workbook you can come to page number Swazond Kans, which is 75. Complete le tire avec le piano personnel qui manque. So, complete the brackets, oh sorry, complete the blanks uh, with the piano personnel, personal pronouns that are missing here. Na pas pa, je viens avec dash. So, the placement is already given in the form of blank. I'm just writing the answer. Na pas pa, je viens avec dash. Na pas pa. It's a negative imperative with you, right? So I'll I come with you, right? Je viens avec toi. So it's tonique here. Well, pronoun personnel. The question is about pronoun personnel, but yeah, in your exam, tonique will also be included. In your pronoun personnel question, you will have sujet pronoun, you'll have pronoun réfléchi, you'll have uh, cod coi, you will have e and o, and you'll also have pronoun tonique. These are the pronouns that you will have in your pronoun personnel question that you'll get in your exam. Okay. Second one we have ma leçon de français. Question mark. Oui, je dash et fini. Now, et fini has an extra e. Indicating that we had a COD. Right. So, COD will be what? La. Right. La for ma leçon. So, uh, the next word is AI. Beginning with the vowel. J. So, it will become je l'ai. Right. So, second one will be L apostrophe. Right. Third one. Mon mari et dash. Nous allons au cinéma ce soir. So, mon mari et dash, my husband and I, that's how the second part can have V. Right? If it was someone else, then it would have been they. But, mon mari et moi, my husband and I, we will go to cinema this evening. Right? So, it will be mon mari et moi. Fourth, nous avez-vous reconnu? No, je ne dash et pas reconnu. So, okay, we have two subjects. First question is with nous. Nous avez-vous? Okay, question is with vous. Okay. Avez-vous reconnu? Nous avez-vous reconnu? Did you recognize us? No, je ne vous ai reconnu. Okay, je ne vous ai reconnu. And, uh, yeah, it will be vous. Did you recognize us? No, I didn't recognize you. You all. In fact, it's first person, it's a second person plural here. Because the question was with, can you recognize us? It wasn't like, m'avez-vous reconnu? No, it was, nous avez-vous reconnu? Right. Could have been it, m'avez-vous reconnu? Then in that case, no, je n'ai pas reconnu. Right, like that. Fifth, fifth is, okay, fifth is uh, focusing on one of the aspects of pronotonique, which is to put emphasis. Dash, also sportif. Dash, they uh, el prefer le théâtre. So, a, uh, them, they are sportive. Them, they are interested in theatre. So, a uh, and l. For the fifth part, a uh, and l. Sixth, si vous retrouvez mes crayons, gardez dash. If you find again my pencils, keep them with yourself. So, garde les. Something went into my eyes. Oh, God. Ces gens, excuse dash, je dash et invité sont du monde ton accord. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, these people, excuse me, I invited them. Without asking your agreement. Right. 
So, moi, excuse moi, and je l'ai. Je les ai invité. Okay, so in the seventh one, we have moi and les. Eighth one, we have repon dash elle attend ta lettre. So, respond to her, she is waiting for your letter. Répond lui. Here it's not tonique. Okay, no tonique here. Here it's a COI, complément d'objet indirect. That's why lui. Si tu es fatigué, je dash accompagnerai chez dash. If you are tired, I can, uh, I'll accompany you to, uh, to your place, right? So, je t'accompagnerai chez toi. So, T apostrophe and toi. Then we have tent. Ne dash dans le pas de fromage. Don't give me cheese because I don't like it. So, je uh, ne me donne pas de fromage. Je ne l'aime pas. COD in the second blank, okay? For fromage. Okay. Now question number five. Question number five we have remplacer les mots en caractère gras par le pronom i. So we need to just replace the pronouns that are in bold with the pronoun y. So we don't need to think much, right? All we need to take care is the application in this question because we are aware of it that all parts will have the pronoun e, right? Let me just quickly check the recording if it's going on fine or not. Yes, it's going on all right. Okay, so we have from plus a limo, fine, we have another question, okay. First one. Répondez à ma lettre, s'il vous plaît. It's affirmative imperative, so the pronoun will come after the verb. So it will be, répondez, répondez-y, s'il vous plaît. Okay, like this. Number two, ils, da, ils sont arrivés à Lyon vers Dazard. So, à Lyon, complément de lieu, Y. So, uh, placement, it's passé composé. So, ils, ils sont arrivés vers Dazard. Okay. Toi, elle est chez Guy. Chez Guy, at the place of Guy. So, elle y est. Fourth, pensez sérieusement à vos études? Inanimate object preceded by A. I mean, A preceded by inanimate object, Y. So, pensez-y sérieusement. Elle va rentrer à Paris. In such questions, we know that the pronoun comes before the main verb and not the helping verb. Right. So, elle va y rentrer. Okay. Elle va y rentrer. Last one. Va vite à l'école. So, à l'école, published by pronoun y. So, va y vite. But. Vowel, vowel, in this case, we will add an extra S to the verb vasi vit for the purpose of liaison. Right. You can't miss out on S. It will be considered wrong in such a case. Like it happens when the pronoun is either E or pronoun is on. Right. And also mind that whenever I am saying it E, I actually mean E. Prono Y. Right. And I'm not referring to the English en. When I'm saying en, I'm referring to en, the pronoun en. Question number six, we have remplacer le mot caractère gras par le pronoun en. Okay, six we had with uh, y, and now we have en. Fine. 
So ils arrivent de fond ce soir, we know it, complément de lieu, if it, it is succeeded by the, then we use en, right? So, first one, ils ont arrivent, ils ont arrivent, ce soir, yeah. Number two, elle parle souvent dans son travail, ok? Elle en parle souvent. Third, vous avez besoin d'argent, so vous en avez besoin. Fourth, il va un stylo, now a stylo, quantity. So the noun will be replaced by the pronoun, but the quantity will remain of the verb, right? So, il en va un. Like this, okay? You can't miss out on the quantity when you're using en. Fifth, je vais acheter une dizaine de bananes. So, une dizaine will be there, right? So, je vais acheter. No. It's foot to brush. The pronoun will come before the main verb and not before aller. So, je vais en acheter une douzaine, a dozen. And sixth, we have, nous avons des amis français, nous en avons. Question number four, five, six, done. Now we have to do question number seven, which is the last question for this video. See, uh, I know that the remaining questions, I could have done it in two videos, but I felt that one video will become excessively long. That's why I broke it into three parts. <laughs> okay, because making like 25, 30 minute video is tedious for me as well, and for, it's for tedious for the viewer too, to watch such a long video. Ha, until and unless it's for exam, Division, where I'm discussing every topic in detail, then it's a different story. But now it's fine. Uh, I'm erasing the entire thing. You can take a screenshot. It's question number six. You can take a screenshot. Okay, three, two, one, let's go. Because uh, the remaining answers, I'll fit it in uh, a single board, clean board, right? On a single clean board. So, yeah, also I got this new duster. The last time I was recording, my duster was giving me a hard time, so I had to get a new one. This dust is actually good. Cleaned the board pretty fast. Nice. Okay, so now we have question number seven. Remplacer les mots en caractère gras par les pronoms i ou en. Okay, first we did with e, then we did with en, and now it's mixed. Okay, so question number seven, last question for this video. L C A C Saswa is the verb. Devant la cheminée. Devant la cheminée, uh, complément de lieu, Y. So, first one, elle, pronoun réfléchi will come before the pronoun. So, L, C, A, Assis. Okay? Devant la cheminée is entire complément de lieu, so it is replaced by Y. Number two, il va connaître des foncés, des foncés, en will be used, right? So, and il va connaître, va helping verb, connaître main verb, so the pronoun will come before the main verb. Il va, il va t'en connaître, right? Il va t'en connaître. Let me check the recording once again if it's going on fine or not, because it's the last question for this video. Yes, it's fine. Okay, so 
Il va donc connaître. Ok. Third one. Voiture en verre d'eau. What you on verse do is now it's an interrogative, right? Interrogative with inversion. So the pronoun will come before the verb, before the verb, right? So on verb do. Ah, a glass of water. So glass of water. replaced by the pronoun and yeah however what do you unveil though quantity needs to be mentioned so boku upper we do mention that so unveil though unveil glass of water unveil though no that the entire will thing will be replaced because But wait, I am a bit puzzled in this. Yun du zen we wrote the full thing, right? Ah, uh, for now I would like to write a ver. Okay, I'll have a thought about it. If I bring some change, I'll notify it because quantity needs to be mentioned, right? Because in du uh, zen case of C uh, as well, we. Right like this, right? Javi is on Ashwete. You need to send. So I'm bad. But wait. No, 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 no. Oh God, this is actually confusing now. Ah, I thought that a bad is a indeterminable quantity, but it is indeed a determinable quantity. Right. So <laughs> I'll think about it. Uh, fourth one. Le chat n'est pas sur la table. Le chat n'y est pas. Please complement de lire. So le chat n'y est pas. Fifth, apporter lui du thé. Du thé. Parti de parti quoi? Ian. Apporter lui un. COD comes before, right? I mean COI. Here it's COI. Sixth, have you view des étoiles hier soir? Des étoiles. The stars. So, interrogative with the inversion. So, on have you on have you view hier soir? Okay. On have you view Hier soir. Number seven. Je les emmènerai à la discothèque. So je les y à la discothèque. Complément de lieu précédé de by uh, a. So okay. COD was already there in the question itself. Va à Delhi cette semaine. So the same thing that we discussed a few minutes back, the wobble scenario, S will get added up here. So va zi cette semaine. Okay. Number nine. Ne pars pas de Paris sans rencontrer. Don't leave Paris before meeting me. So without meeting me. So it's a it's a imperative negative. So the pronoun will come before the verb only, as usual. Okay, so no par pa sans me rencontrer. Number ten, emprunte des romans pour moi. Emprunte with an S en pour moi. Okay, because vowel scenario taking place again. Emprunte son. Pour moi. Et 
eleven. Yes, we will take the literature at our university. E O. The remaining all questions out of E O E O E O. One is the complement that takes E N, and one is either <coughs> in most of the cases place, right? Complement earlier. So G O N E S U I V I. Eleventh one. G O N E S U I V I. Gone suivi, right? Twelfth, ila mide var sulla tabla again the same thing. So wait, let me just write over there, right? So il, this is twelve. Il i o a mi, yeah, that's all. Thirty. No matter how the shares the wall are telling, the shares the wall are telling. Very easy. So again, ni o matepa. Fourteen. J accepted the pati bulo alondra pusuviva. The pati bulo o alondra e. So j o ne accepte pus. Suivre can't miss out on poor suivre because that uh, if you skip that the sentence will be incomplete. And fifteenth, no mercy. Je assez de viande dans mon assiette. Dans mon assiette, y uh, de viande en. So and assez you can't skip on assez. So no mercy. Je en ai. I say, yeah, that's all. With this, let's put a halt here. Say to push you. That's all for today. If you like this video, please give the thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Learn French and above. And if you have any doubt or question, you may write that in the comment section below. You may also like my Facebook page by the same name, Learn French and above. See you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Au revoir. Nous le parlons en français. C'est l'amour.